All right. Um, looks like everything's working. My name is Cuban Pete, and I'm the king of the Bongo Beat. Hey there, B. Good to see you back. Hi, Andy. Hi, Christy. Probably hi, Xenon, as well. Let me switch to a screen where I can uh, see things better. There we go. All right. Let's get trucking. And this is a game I'm going into. It's, I'm not going in completely blind. I know things about it. I've played parts of it before. But I've never played the whole way through. I know that there's something like 40-something different characters you can get. And there's a lot of hard choices. So this is going to be interesting. So if everyone's ready, hold your breath. Shit's about to get real. You little thief. Stop. Stop. Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. Idiots. Let's go, guys. You might notice a distinct uh, earthbound influence on the graphical style. Thanks, Brad. Sorry. You didn't have to cover for me. I'm sorry, Brad. I if I can go the other way. I found uh, an old upturned shopping cart and what appears to be a dead body. Can't get up there. Thank you for that toot. Let me, uh... Oh, I haven't sent it yet? Okay. I heard a ba-boop, so I assumed that was you. Oh. Um. Uh. Suicide. I think so too, and those are good for basically the whole game, other than mutilation. Mutilation will be important later. Well, can't talk to that guy. Right. Now, Retoot! There, now it's retooted. And we continue. steps into my house. Beat to shit. A 
not buying you another shirt. <laughs> Worthless shit, kid. Go to your room. <laughs> now. You took some joy. Hi there, the Zack Attacks. Good to see you. What the hell? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Good baby. Hey Xenon. Again. Or unless you're saying hi to the Zack attacks, that would make a lot more sense. Love this game, but it gets real heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't kidding there. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe. I will take a hammer and fix the baby. What is that? Holy shit. Is that a baby? Yeah. Whoa. A baby? Where'd you get that? I don't know. Just found it laying on the ground. I also like to eat a good hammer now and then. Jeez. Dudes, wait. You know what this means? This means there's a girl out there. Whoa! This means there's hope for humanity. Whoa. Bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it a boy or a girl? Didn't check. It's a girl. Wow. We gotta tell someone. Rando. If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Dope, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. The rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. Go keep her a secret your whole life? You know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. A little early to be assigning roles, don't you think? <laughs> I don't care if you guys help me or not. Not gonna give her up. Rando Calarician, he does have a cape. 
This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I don't let anyone hurt you. Four men and a baby. Just take turns caring for her and digging out the room. Men are pink lemonade, women are five dollar footlongs. Ah yes, the two genders. Uh, he has a big robe and huge hair. like the sweetest thing ever. What's up, B? Yes, this is the sweetest thing ever. Hey! You there! This wild beast won't leave me alone! I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing a tree. So give me a hand, will ya? I 
last bill is. I'm afraid to find out, though. Brad won the battle. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. New skill, Buster Punches. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of uh, pain. Like maybe you could handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? Uh, let's just go with normal mode. Cause uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna go right on, on through the story here. What did Doggo do to deserve this? I mean, he just kept biting me, so I kept slapping him until he stopped. A last beal is a truck, 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 truck. Ah, I see. Huh, that sucks. Anyway, it would have helped, but like I said, I hurt my, uh, H-string. I'm Terry Hintz. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. I got at least like 80 followers on Twitch. Wait. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool. It's settled. Very enjoyed. You slapped the dog into a separate pocket of space-time. Yes. Yes, I did. If this balloon wasn't here, you could walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. Good to know. The Hints My Star. Empty bottles. My favorite. If this was the Legend of Zelda game, I'd be rich now. Bottles. Those bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make fire bombs, or even just throw them in battle. So pick them up. Save file from the first time I tried playing this. <laughs> save it. You can save your game by consulting your crow. Somebody's got to remember ya. Jump in. Standing in front of a short enough ledge, you can hold the up button and press the space bar to jump. And hold the down and press the space bar to drop down. Try it out. Oh, you mean turn it down on the stream's end? There we go. That should be better. Alright, let's try that again. Caution. Be wary of Terry's good looks. Is this better balance? Be wary of Terry's good looks. They are dangerously appealing. Always looking out. Signed, Tear Bear. Oop, hey brother, it's Terry. Just thought I should come along and be your manager brother i hear you got a lot of wastelanding to do so i'm gonna hang out with you dude Boop. very nice it's uh hulk hogan resting if you find a campfire you can rest your party will be fully revived but be careful you're vulnerable when you sleep and anything can happen but what choice do you have I don't really need to rest here, do I? Well, I might as well. Might as well see what happens. Waste landing, hell yeah. So, is this game sound balance better? Never got a, an answer. Uh, I keep checking these rocks like there's going to be something in one of them. Hey, there's blood everywhere, and it splish splashes. Awesome. Oh, looks like they're all dead. 
Secrets out, Brad. She's gone. Sorry, guy. Something I gotta do. Alone. What happened? Can't really tell you. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find th that person. It's really all I can say. Ah, shoot. That's sad, dude. Alright, I guess I should try a Hogan thing with him. Since we've already established that. Figure you'll need, like, someone to protect you. Brother. I don't. I'll, uh, I'll tag team along, I guess. Considering I'm a, a very strong warrior. <laughs> Terry Hens joined you again. He's dead. He's also dead. And, uh, he's dead. And here's a rusty knife. I'll pull that out of that corpse of a man who was also dead. Picture of a happy family. Oh, Picture of Buddy's uncles. Rick, Sticky, and Cheeks. Oh, I want to see that last picture. Picture of the sky that Buddy drew. Thanks, Crow. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. We found some mystery jerky. That's my favorite kind of jerky. Interesting. Oh! Probably should have used the ropes. Ah, good thing I didn't jump off the cliff, huh? He's holding something. He found a diet Coca-Cola. -Cola. He's dead. Oh! That's why you should watch the screen while playing video games, kids. Alright, there was a... Was there an item over here? Yeah. You gotta make some proto-vaporwave now? It's not a bad idea. He's dead. Damn right. Let's see. Diet Coca-Cola. -Cola. He's dead. The reason I got into Vaporwave is because somebody said, Hey, you should listen to News at 11 a few months ago, so I've got no idea what it was like in 2007. <laughs> Mystery Jerky. Again, my fave. <laughs> combo. Some characters can use combos via WASD. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering a specific combo. In your skills menu, you can find out how to do special moves by looking at a button sequence. WWS does buster punches. Alright, cool. Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. What a vapor wave from 2000s music instead of 80s and 90s. Ah! Hints. Give an enthusiastic chant. <laughs> Terry is crying.
Good stuff, Terry. Buster punches in. This old salmon swimming downstream tonight. Level up for Terry. Shout out to all. Shout out. Shout out to all my fans. Terry the Hinsters moving on up. Sick drops. He's dead. Just, just so you know. Very, very dead. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. He's dead. Mystery jerky and some cave art. He's also dead. Anything good here? Nah. Yeah, must be contagious, Christy. He's dead. Okay, whatever's in this bag, I can't take it. Must just be garbage. Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. I could have just walked away. Can't escape. God damn it. Shout out to all my fans. Insters moving on up. Sick drops. What do you think this is? Undertale? This whole game's basically genocide run. Oh, I see how this works. I'm gonna have to take some damage to get down to whatever that is. That's fine, we'll do it. I got this. Nonviolence is for chumps. No, it won't even let me. Wait, this is fine. Here we go. Secret stash. 50 magazines. Sweet. Eh, health is fine. Three squares. It's plenty to get killed on. More mystery jerky. I should probably heal Terry. I mean, they're both like heavy social satire, so they're not total opposites. The Lisa fan base seems to be a lot less hostile. Alright, men. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search around in case she's already been through here. You got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifters, out! I can't jump down to vertically. I have to walk off the cliff. Or I can climb down this rope. Good stuff. Ooh, 
Ooh, perfume. Yeah, saying less hostile than the Undertale fan fandom uh, isn't saying much. You're absolutely right there. It's a joke, bald man. You think you can handle what's going on out there? Huh. I'll give you a taste. Nice guy. Sugar Mountain. Probably stumble to a phone booth and then die. Pretty sure that if somebody stabbed me or beat me up and I survived, then I wouldn't proceed to challenge some dude to a fight. <laughs> Alright, let's Armstrong style. Hey, Terry can do damage now. Oh yeah! If I hit skills... Oh, I can just do it straight out of the skills menu. That's interesting. Verbal bash. Use disparaging words to upset the opponent. This can make them cry or get pissed. Harry's being very hurtful. Miss. Little cheer. I'll end up doing more damage by using it as a combo because I get the first two hits. Big rock candy mountain. Oh, I, I missed what cheer actually did. their scan at someone it won't hurt it's a soft drink <laughs> oh, Brad doesn't need to use that just yet like the idea that he uses combo techniques passed down in the Armstrong tradition hell yeah Sugar Mountain is astounded by your stupidity. I'm glad to astound. You can't, honestly, how do you even fight someone that doesn't have a shirt on? You can't jersey someone. They have no shirt. That's why I have to carry around a shirt. That's a good point. Then you put it on them and pull it over their head. This is the best idea. Hopefully she's already dead, so I can see her in hell. But Christy, how do you type with boxing gloves on? No, I already went and got that thing back there. Ooh, how do we get that? I see a thing above us. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. Domestic jerky. Ooh. Damn right I sent him straight to hell. Holla holla. If you hear me. Really needed to get that off my chest. He's dead. Well, people don't really survive in this world. They're dead. How about this guy? Oh, he's dead. Are you dead? I can't tell because I can't get close enough to find out. 
Uh, it's not a desert, it's just a wasteland. Ooh, a worn helmet. Can always go for a worn... Okay, he can't wear it. Apparently I can't always go for a worn helmet. No, none of them, neither of them can wear that. Give it to the old, give it the old college try with this. I guess that goes on a football player or something. Some kind of jock type character. They're dead. Oh, well then. You suffered serious damage. I wonder if that's avoidable. Time's a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Yeah, we got trucked like fucking crazy. Howdy, motherfucker. Our paths hath crossed yet again. You remember our time spent as we lads? I do, fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped to your wares by now, but I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow-shirted friend's life, or all your belongings. Choose wisely. What'll you give us? I mean, Terry isn't very useful. Thinking of it from a gameplay perspective, you want to give up Terry. But thinking of it from a moral perspective, you want to give up all your belongings. So you know what? I'm going to leave this to the chat. What do you guys think? On one hand, we got Terry, who can't do a whole lot, but he's a friend. You couldn't give up Terry? Kill your belongings? Terry can't be late for the farmer's market. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess we'll give up our stuff. <sighs> Huh, how boring. Alright, boys, strip them quick. I hear tale of females on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. All your stuff's been taken. Ugh. My head. Whoa. You look like hell. You okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn. First my hamstring and now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Terry Hintz joined you. Again. Oh, I should have been watching where I was walking. I absolutely saw that coming. Oh, God. This is why I shouldn't read the chat ever, right? I end up walking off cliffs. Am I the only one here who, who sees what's going on and I'm like, you know, I've seen this before? This is like even the first time I played through this part. It's like I've... This is, don't get me wrong, it, it's fucked, but I've seen so much more fucked.
seems like a storm's brewing around here. You look tired. You hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of my soup. Also, if you need rest, you can use my tent. Well, thank you, strange little camping man. Oh, right, I don't have any empty bottles anymore. Well, you suffered a serious head injury. Your SP has decreased. Your luck has decreased. Knocked out cold. Well, at least he's alive. Whoa! Holy heck! The world can be saved. Find her. Status effects. Scared, wary, weird, stun. Lots of lots of stuff. I won't remember all this shit. Cool pick, huh? Archer stick. You wouldn't... I, I didn't steal an unconscious man's soup. I couldn't even carry any. And yeah, he offered it to me. Intestines are in disarray! He wouldn't walk around with handfuls of soup? I don't know, I might. I'm kind of strange. I feel this game is a shit post. Bobby Diddle must have had a hard time in grade school. <laughs> Name like that. Don't believe anybody working on it took it seriously at all. Um. I don't know. I think it's, uh. I think it's more like it adds a sense of humor to some very severe things. Or you mean the music. Because the music... <laughs> the person who made that one mashup made this. New skills. Inform. Sick drops. Better than near, in which literally everybody took extremely... S yeah. Yeah. Near Automata, specifically. That was... That was a hard game to push through. Not a hard game, just a hard game to get through. He's dead. Well, shit. I was gonna come talk to him. So I gotta take some damage. See the red skulls? It means Rando's army's taken over. Which, you know, sucks. Because the only gasoline within miles is in there. The hell am I gonna make firebombs? Hey, there's a... There's an empty bottle. He's dead. What the... Oh, am I still on fire? Oh, I'm depressed, I think. Can't really blame anyone for that. Except, you know, the horrible people. Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in... <coughs> I want no part in this. just points to the door. <laughs> mm. 
Near Automata was supposed to be deep philosophical commentary, but it was written by someone with a uh, ninth grader's understanding of philosophy. Either that or it was a big joke. All right. What's all this then? Tommy, don't play with matches. How do you even get those, sport? Give them to... Ah, oh, shit. What do you want? You don't seem hostile. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Uh-oh, Tommy. <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, can you hand me that bucket of water? You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! Well, shit. That bucket! Get that bucket of water! Quick! Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Well, too late. You're too late. This is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life. <laughs> well, that's a thing that just happened. I hate to think what the most tragic thing was. Aww. I'm just, like, dying over here, too. Let me see about finding some of that soup back here. Also, Terry is straight dead. Wonder if I can sleep here safely. Gravity's pretty mean. A pretty mean SOB. You're not wrong. All right, there we go. Man, that guy is out cold for a while. I think he's in a coma. Huh. What was the point of burning the kids to death? I guess there was no point because that's fucking tragic. I am not a soup thief. I was given that soup freely. It'll just go to waste if he's in a coma anyway. Aha! Found it. Can't get up there. The world can be saved. Now what's this Chungus want? Smooth. Ugh, Jesse. Smooth Jesse. Still can't get that. Here's some bottles, but I think I'll die if I get them. That was incredible. Well, there, now we haven't burned those kids to death.
I wonder if it's possible to get that bucket of water. Might as well try, right? I become El Presidente, I promise to keep soup thieves like you out of this great nation. Aw, uh, that's not cool. Soup thieves are important. Don't play with matches, how'd you even get those? This is my orphanage, all these kids have been abandoned, taking care of them, why are you- Uh-oh, Tommy. Yeah, it's not gonna let me uh, get the correct bucket of water. Yeah, it would appear I can't get the water. Dude, I tried my best. He literally prevented me from getting the correct bucket, so I don't even feel bad about this. I'm not gonna walk away. The guy needs my help. God, they think I'm a monster. How is that sound? All kinds of echoing going on in here. <laughs> hey pal, you okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental? Brother! Uh, no, I'm just asking. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Closing my eyes. Good night, Olaf. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. Not sure what that was about. Anyway, all mob of guys ran through here going on about a girl. Balding guy in pink and a phallic headed man in green cut the bridge out. They looked real scared, neither of them fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then all of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. That chick was ugly. It's locked. Aw, oh, man. Oh, the whole thing's locked up tight. But, truck, truck, truck. Bear Grylls Survival Orphanage. I like the sound of this. Alright. Alright, so now I know going after those uh, bottles on the cliffside is no bueno. Good night, B. Glad you came. This is all mazy and shit. Smooth Jesse. Alright. Who's this Chungus? Oh, 
Hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales would you like to hear? Yeah, I totally care. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. Oh right, it all started with uh, what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass. But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time-consuming, if not more. Alright, well, it was good to see you, Zack Attacks. Hope to see you again. That sneaky bitch! Anyway, I'll save that story for later. Instead, I'm sitting on my porch drinking my sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course, ho-ho, when suddenly a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yup, it was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. <laughs> I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered, the sky writes like H.P. Lovecraft. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now, my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Plateburger, yeah, one of those women, well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. I'm really hoping I can kill this guy. And if I don't already feel inadequate enough, not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay! At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only of minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Yeah, exactly like H.P. Lovecraft. Focus on every unimportant detail and then say nothing about what's actually important. I can tell by the way you're walking away you don't want to leave. Oh, I want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July, was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic, though. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. It's a mashed kind... I'm a mashed kind of fellow. Ho, ho! So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. 
once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul, I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork knights. Needless to say, I saved my wife or I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple choice words. About whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Oh god, please just let me away from this fucker. His poor wife, god rest her soul. And then there is nothing good in his house anyway. Can I, can I kill him? I guess I can't kill him. Brad's not the sort who would initiate an attack like that. Oh, Jesus, fuck! That is worse than any jump scare. Well, hello again! Funny seeing you here! What, are you following me or something? Ho, ho! Anyway, I often wonder what all happened here. What was the big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally, I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman, but as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. God, this guy has like every trait of someone you want to beat the shit out of. I look up to see that there is some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. Oh, God. Nern Guan joined your party. I don't want this. I never asked for this. Fuck. Oh, wait. I just realized that this is low enough that I can jump back up. I am heavily medicated, people. Give me a break. Now this guy I want in my party. Look at that swag. Yo! What's happening, my man? 
You got a couple of mags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother! An energetic ex-pro wrestler known for his devastating headbutts, El Rage, very nice, always puts the battle first and his health second. He has high speed and attack, but somewhat low defense. He costs 70 mags. I'll be waiting, my man! I have little interest in scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this world has to offer. I don't have enough for him either. Being drunk in battle will increase your strength, but decrease your hit rate. All in all, getting drunk rules. I can buy some potato liquor. Give this man whatever he wants. Oh, cool. You can actually switch party members in and out. All right. That is good to know. I'm going to head back to town real quick. If I can, save and see what happens inside of that gas station. Also, maybe I'll get some soup on the way. Nah, it's potato liquor. Totally different. Okay, hi there. Big Pancake Norton. Surprise attack. DDA. Form. Increases SP. Ah, very good. Verbal bash. A little cheer. Maybe that can make him less depressed. I'll use his guns, I guess. Discuss techniques. He gives TP to one ally, but I don't have anyone who uses TP. Crap, what was... I already forgot what it was. Uh, DDA. Oh! Just shoot the fucker. Brad does a groin kick. Miss. Ah, withdrawal's over. Hell yeah. How do I hurt this guy? Oh, okay, he just couldn't hurt him because his strength was way down. Oh, yeah, stunned. Excellent. Oh, sweet. So you actually can get the OST. I think it's also available on Steam, which I don't usually buy Steam music, but... If it's on Bandcamp, all the better, though. one turn. Better keep using it then. Uh... There we go. Groin kick. Booyah. That's useful. Doesn't work two turns in a row, it looks like. Yeah, because he doesn't get a chance to attack again. That makes sense. I see how that works. Is he dead yet? I did it all for the Nuki. Of course he did. like four bucks on sale yeah yeah that was just Fred Durst
That's one for the books. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this soundtrack. It's very earthbound while also having a flare of its own. All right, let's go get more soup. Let's go get more coma soup. Still not dead. <laughs> of course, that was like uh, Limp Biscuit's best stuff. The Ram Skull period. All right, let's see what's in here. The girl's just up ahead. She's in an old clubhouse. Those pretty boy pricks kicked me out. So now I'm gonna kick the pretty out of you, prick. Nice guy. Damn, Terry's getting strong. Glad you guys got me to keep him. He keeps up at this rate. Evade. starting to get some noise on the line, so I apologize for that. Throwing bottles at me, shit. He's just astounded by our stupidity. Can't blame him. I'm pretty stupid. Ooh, bleeding. That's no good. Ooh. She almost dead? Jesus, this guy's got a lot of HP. Jesus! I think this was a mistake. a lot of heals all at once. Ah, he just seems to be immune to stun. I'm unsinkable like the Titanic. Ah, uh, you're sunk. My sweet la wife, God rest her soul. The Hinster's moving on up, brother. That's one for the books. Sweet lemon tea. I am 
very glad. Hmm. Forgot what I said. Oh, very glad that you get bottles back after using what's in them. Oh, how do I get to that? I can't jump, drop down from here. Weird. Can't get to that one either. Just trying to lure me along, I guess. No way to get to those uh, that stash of magazines either. Definitely there to lure me. Don't even think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fat and dull looking. Get a bike, dude. Lose a couple pounds. All right, so we need the bike to get across this shit. All right, I can get to that one. No, I can't. I can't drop down here. Must need the bike to get any of this shit. I knew there was a bike, that's all I really knew, though. Alright, well now we know where the uh, clubhouse is. It's through the, uh, the middle door in town. I have a feeling bad stuff will happen if I keep sleeping here. But I guess we'll keep doing it until it does happen. You know, worse than what's already happened. Huh? Seems okay. I think he's got a lot worse than a concussion at this point. Okay, I don't have a light. So far, it just seems like a regular cave, though. Ah, shit. Shadowy figure. Ugh. Nut shot. Ah. Shout out to all my fans. <laughs> sleeping's good for coma. <laughs> I mean, sleeping's most of what you do in a coma. There's moments of awakeness, but not consciousness, depending on the type of coma. Bring her to Rando and he will give you the world. I will give you the world. Hey, that guy has a big spiky club. He also looks like Stan from South Park. No, well, no one gives a fuck. They're just gonna watch me as I walk past. Yo! Where are you going? Get over here. Hey, Porky, leave him alone. I know don't want to start and shit for no reason. I said get over here. Now. Well, hi there. Got a problem here? Ah, shit. The whole gang of... Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, well, let's uh, worry about Lance Gravies, because 
He's the one acting like a piece of shit. James <laughs> Jordan is enraged. Ugh. Okay, this is real bad. me to go that way. fight's possible, but I think I'd uh, like to like it better if I came back at a higher level. There we go. Game over. I have soup. I only really have soup. All right, we're going back the other way, I guess. Up here. Or not up here, but out east. Or through the hole. We've got a couple ways we can go, I guess. Okay, that's the truck. I do wish I had a map. I don't have a great sense of direction. Y'all saw me in Nier. I even got turned around in that game, and the world's like six feet across. Now oh, that's the orphanage. Can I go east from here? No. Of course not. I'm having trouble remembering where I can go. I guess it's the left door on the building that leads to a place I can actually continue from. Yeah, here we are. Can't go up there yet. We need the bike for that. Is this guy still awake? None background with left door. <laughs> Smooth Jesse. Yeah, we'll walk past the bar and see what's what's going on over here. More posters. All right, more town. Found a tape deck. You deal with it. Well. Gotta admit, in some ways, this hits pretty close to home. Hey, a leather poncho. You wear ponchos, right? Ah, that's much better than an itchy poncho. Anyone else wear ponchos? You wear jerseys. Nern wears shawls. Totally different from a poncho. <laughs> well, 
Only barbarians wear ponchos. Hey, it's Mickey Mouse. Y'all know Mickey Mouse, right? Yeah, he's here. He's right here in this video game. Everyone say hi to Mickey. People think this girl's some kind of godsend. People think this girl's some kind of godsend. And that ain't so. It'll tear us all apart, huh? Oh, here's actually Hulk Hogan. Yes, this is Kingdom Hearts 3. Listen here, brother. Oh, it actually is Hulk Hogan. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need you to get me a refreshing bottle of liquor. I do it myself, but I'm all washed up. Yep, that's Hogan, all right. See, I was just joking. No, that's, that's like legitimately Hulk Hogan. Buzz off. Don't mind Eagle. He's a bit of a prick. All right. Hello, old chum. Want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. You obviously don't know business. I'm just saving up for some potato liquor. Honestly, I'm happier now that the world has ended. Is that Diglett? It helps that my wife and kids aren't here. I guess he didn't like his wife and kids much. Try buying something from me, I dare ya. How about I sell you this itchy poncho? It's a dug tree who that lost its other heads. Ouch. That sounds gruesome. Ah, he didn't even mind that I took his soup. He didn't even offer it, I just fucking took it. Alright, is this a real bar? Um... If it is, I can't find my way down. Well, I'm gonna get jumped as soon as I walk out, aren't I? Surprisingly not. All right, I guess we have to go all the way back to the bar. Which I guess isn't actually that far. It's like right here. For some reason I thought it was further. And I bet Hogan will give us less mags than we pay for it. Fall into the broken house from above, eh? All right. I'm gonna get Hogan good and drunk first, though. Right on, brother. Here's those greasy pages. Oh, wow, never mind. That's good stuff. How would I get above it? Oh, there's the crates, the stack of crates, of course. I see. Let's, uh, spend some greasy pages, though. Alright, he dares me. Shag poncho would be better than the leather that we just got. Drab tank top, dainty shawl. I guess we'll buy the, uh, I guess we'll buy the drab tank top. He dared us, after all.
save the mags and hire I oh that's true what was he 70 70 mags no. won't take us that long I'm sure flop hooray empty bottles ow Well, now we're here. <laughs> what the hell, dude? That hurts. What a rush. That was great. Take this. Bottle of perfume. Walk away, jerk. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was excellent. He just likes to see his friend get whacked. Oh shit! That absolutely is Animal and what's his face. That's awesome. He, and he called him Eagle! <laughs> it's the fucking Road Warriors. This is just Wrestle Town. Let's get more soup. actually save again. Alright, we're gonna go a little bit further tonight, but not much. I just wanna see what's coming up here. There's an abandoned building just down the way here. My friends and I are playing some cards in there. I just stepped out for some air, but you should join us. How nice. Hey, there's someone's old dresser, and it appears to have an udder. Why does this dresser have an udder? Well, hi. Well, not what I expected. Wool wristbands. Longbow. Pea shooter. Oh, shit. I really should save up to hire the wrestle man. How much does perfume sell for? Five mags? Get rid of the cheetah jersey. Alright, we just need five more mags now. This is a hell of a long just down the way here. This doesn't look... Okay, it's got white skulls instead of red skulls. Hey, I found a cigarette. White skulls and red hearts. I got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart today. Do what? No, I don't know this song. Why would I know Christian spiritual songs? You sound incredulous. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's all good. Joy down in my heart. How about you? Well, this is about what I expected, if I'm being honest. Oh, it's you. Your heart seems unhappy. Let's cheer it up. You got some joy. Remember to take care of yourself. I'll check up on you soon. Still going through withdrawal. I'm trying to avoid taking joy, period. I don't think that'll last through the whole game. Having felt the throes of addiction in the past, 
I know it's not pleasant. Hi, you look familiar. Welcome to Bill Muhammad's Iron Tiger Karate Center. Would you like to learn my Iron Tiger technique? It won't be easy. First, a test. See that cliff over there? You must fall off of it until I think you've proved your worth. Speak to me when you think you've proven yourself. Ha! Huh, not impressed yet. Keep going. All right, so I guess I just have to keep falling. Either that or the whole thing's a joke and there's nothing to gain here. That's what, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Well, you said something different. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Quality content right here. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done, you've proven your power. You got a karate scroll. Make sure you read it. Man, what a dick. Fine, I have plenty of soup. Found myself humming a slow version of Down in My Heart in time to the face thumping. <laughs> Muhammad style scroll. It's written in English. It can't be that authentic. Increases defense. Well, let's put it on Brad. Great. Well, I've proven my power, I guess, or my stupidity. So I guess the only way to continue on is through the, uh, not the fun house, but through the campsite. I don't think there's anywhere else to go from here. Cigarette. Flavor so smooth it heals poison. This ad sponsored by Martlow Cigarettes. Ooh, I could sell some uh, joy. The dude pile. Well, if we get the wrestler, we should be able to brute force our way through that, right? Let's sell this joy we just got. This game has a lot of exploration involved. Ah, now he's got a mask. We got the joy, and so do you. Alright, dude pile was the east door, right? Let's go get the wrestler, and then, uh... Oh, that's the main thing, is getting the wrestler. Oh, out of soup. Hi, Mickey Mouse. Well, he was already one of them. He's the one who directed me there, remember? Hi. 
now we're getting somewhere. Now Rage has joined. Uh, let's buy potato liquor with that last. Little interest in Scandalous Magazine, Stiff Drink and Good Memories. Oh, buying him a drink actually costs 20 mags. For some reason, I was thinking I could just give him a bottle. He is not a cheap date. No, he didn't have the mask the first time, but he put it on because... He, he wanted to lure me to... What the fuck? Well, smooth Jesse indeed. I think something may have happened to him. Sup, Rage? Man, stuff just keeps punker tea. Stuff just keeps happening, doesn't it? I like the music, too. It's just one long note. Head rush, A A W. Jesus Christ! I don't think I should be fighting this guy. Wow! It's also like the first fight I've been able to run from, so... Good Lord. That caught me off guard. Oh yeah, there's more stuff this way. No, this is where, uh, Narn or whatever came from. Maybe I can do something in his house now that he's joined me. Oh, I can jump on his dresser. Tetsuo Jr. <laughs> Yeah, we'll come back to him, knowing that he can do almost a thousand damage in one attack. Wonder if there's more soup in the uh, comatose man's pot. not steaming anymore, so I guess not. Ah. We've passed our limit. Alright. Well, I think this is where I call it tonight. Next week, we will move on and fight the man pile. Not the, the man pile we just got our ass kicked by, but the pile of multiple men rather than the pile of a single man thanks everyone for coming i've been andrea this has been lisa the uh the whatever the the, the sad game let's look at the schedule shall we we got tomorrow is our community game thanks to b we're going to be playing we need to go deeper and it's going to be awesome it's a game about uh, crew, uh, manning a submarine. It, it's it's silly, it's janky, it's got a lovely art style, and it's a lot of fun, chaotic multiplayer co-op goodness. So anyone who has received a copy of the game is welcome to show up and play with us. Thursday, Alice will be playing Lego Dimensions. She's got lots more content to go through, either a couple level packs or she'll start on a story pack. Friday, Katie will be finishing up Back to the Future, the game. 
The final chapter is epic as hell, and y'all don't want to miss that. Saturday morning, Christy will be playing Minecraft on the community server. Hi there, item guy. You've come here just as we're signing off. Of uh, Sunday. What was Sunday? Sunday is Sue playing Hard West. She'll be starting on the DLC. Then uh, Monday will be Christy. What are you playing? It's the first Monday of the month, so it's time for Pass Parto, the starving artist, where she will be painting stuff in Pass Parto by request of the chat, and then painting one of those which, which that we decide on on a canvas in real life on camera. That shit's always awesome. I think everyone, just about anyone, can enjoy that. And then Tuesday, we're back around to me with more paladins and more of this. So, thanks again for everyone who showed up. Thanks to our new followers. If you want to support the stream financially, the best way to do that is to subscribe. You get this cool-ass truck emote right here for five bucks and help support the stream, help us make it better. If you want to keep supporting us but can't afford or just don't want to spend that money, that's cool. The best way you can support us then is to bring your friends just introduce more people to our stuff that's a great way to support us and doesn't cost you a nickel so anyway again i've been andrea this has been lisa and paladins and we'll see you tomorrow good night everyone